Hey folks, this is Mysterious JG. Welcome back to uh, the first video of what's... I don't know how many uh, videos this session will be, but this is probably the last sit-down I'm going to have with uh, Neo 2. Last time, we finished the main plot, such as it was, of this last act, which was called The First Samurai. Not a whole lot to... well... So, to say, so obviously, Neo 2 is not a game that's primarily about story, I, I guess. But, uh, oh, well, first of all, I should let you know, I've transformed into our mother as a young hottie. Because it's, this is the final transform that was available to buy at the store. You can't transform into the villain. You can't, can't transform into the humanoid form of the villain. Only the demon lady. But, uh... I mean, as far as the the story goes, the last act of this game was kind of... I don't know. The main story, it, it could be confusing, but they were going for something with this evil spirit that possessed... Um, I guess he was Yoshi because you were Hide. Um, so an evil spirit had been possessing one of uh, Mitsuhide Akechi's Retainers, then it jumped into Hide, uh, rather Yoshi, because you were Hide. He becomes Tokachiro and is evil and takes over uh, the Empire and is all evil man. Um, and stuff happens. You get killed by Tokachiro. You come back to life because your destiny is not yet fulfilled and... Mumio, the demon hunter lady, who could really have helped. These last couple of these, these DLC chapters, it really would have been nice if she was around. Not necessarily always being a combat buddy, but just someone else for you to talk to. But I guess you don't talk anyway. Well, who, who am I kidding? And you have the little cat spirit and the goat spirit floating around, kind of narrating things a little. But anyway, that that whole story from the main the main game. There's an evil spirit that possesses your friend, and eventually you have to. I was kind of surprised when the story suddenly, in like the 11th hour, introduces the protagonist from the original Neo, um, because it, it jumps ahead in time, and um, yeah, I've been, actually, I think I've mentioned a lot of the way, I've been reading uh, Shogun, uh, which is a novel, which is uh, by, I don't know if he's British or American, but it's definitely a Western author writing a fictionalized version of the story of the same guy that the original Neo is based on. Um, William Adams, I guess his real name is? I don't know, but he's he's uh, he's called Anjin-san by the Japanese because they can't pronounce his real name. And he becomes, over the course of the story, he becomes a samurai and a lord and is like has the power of life and death over people, yet no one will bother to make themselves pronounce his real name. He is just called Anjin-san or Anjin Sama by people of lower rank. It's ridiculous. Because Anjin is Japanese for uh, pilot, and he was the pilot for a ship. Anyway. So this game story, he comes in, and Mumio is uh, around, and you guys go and fight and stop powerful demons and blah, blah, blah. Eventually you fight this this, this spirit. I'm still not clear on whether the, old, the evil old man spirit is the same as the young spirit called Okazahama or whatever it's called. But then you have a bunch of DLCs where you're just hopping around in time and the first two DLCs don't seem to have any connection with the story. But then the third DLC, I guess we'll just read the the description. As the protagonist continues to search for answers about an ancient legend, they arrive in a deserted, deserted village near the Suzuka, Suzuka Pass. So they find themselves enveloped in the life, light of a glowing picture scroll and are transported back into the time of the early days of the Heian period. Heian period. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. As a result of the incident with the villagers at that time, Otakamaru has embarked on a crusade to vanquish humanity. Yeah, it's like, he kills some thief, and they're horrified and angry, so he decides he wants to destroy all of humanity. Otakamaru may not have been that stable to begin with. Protagonist attempts to defeat Otakamaru, but after a fierce fight, it is only the arrival of Otakamaru's sister, Suzuka, Saves the protagonist, determined to stop her brother once and for all. Suzuka sacrifices herself to forge the Sohayamaru. She entreats the protagonist, who shares a similar light, to defeat 
Otakamaru in her stead. Not that she doesn't die though. Armed with the Sohaz Yamaru, the protagonist heads to Onigajo. An intense battle ensues. The protagonist finally defeats Otakamaru. Long a captive of his own resentment towards humanity, Otakamaru realizes that the protagonist, one who shares his blood, has succeeded in bringing man and yokai together in peace. Except that you didn't really. With his realization, Otakamaru is set free from his unending obsession at last. As the So Hayamaru grims brightly, the protagonist returns to the Sengoku period, and their long journey finally comes to an end. So basically, if you have three DLCs in which you travel back into the history of Japan before the history in which the main story is set. And only the third one seems to connect in any way to the main story because you're traveling back in time to defeat the villain before the events of the game? Does that mean the events of the game never happened? Or that the villain was still alive somehow and had to be defeated across multiple time periods to be stopped? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But whatever it is, it's over now. And all we've really got left to do. I did my last bit of off-screen inventory management. I'm not even sure why I bothered, but let's just say I was pretty liberal about throwing stuff into permanent storage rather than making careful decisions. We, uh, we've we just got side missions to do, and I figured we'd, you know, play around with them. At least give these a, a try. Hey, invisible cloth. <laughs> I wonder how we managed to find that. Be pretty difficult to locate. So we've got a familiar glow, but we have to do Spirit's Return first. And Spirit's Return is a submission we haven't done yet, so... A distant dream. Is this the main... Yeah, this is the final, final, final mission. We can do a familiar glow, but we got to do a Spirit's Return first. That's recommended level 146. Boy, there's a whole lot of glowy red treasure items around here. Water Amori. Okay. That's level 148. That's level 145 against all comers. Looks like there's some kind of contest going on where humans and yokai pit themselves against each other. It is a contest that samurai have long participated in. Indeed, Dungeon also once took part. I would say this is a good opportunity as any to put your skills to the test. This is one of the ones where I, if it's it works like it did in the first game, it's just you got to fight like 100 enemies in a row, and I'm not interested. I don't think I'll be able to do it. You have to do... Clear battle at the temple. Obtain three grilled tank sweets from the missions of the first samurai. Oh my goodness. Battle at the temple, 144. It would seem that yokai have appeared at Todaji Temple and are laying waste to its hallowed grounds. Do you be so kind as to head to the temple and call the servants? Let's try this one first. The onset of the Heian period, Kukai, along with many others, crossed the sea to China. As an envoy looking to learn of the nation's technology and culture, these envoys are dutifully bought. Numerous texts and treasures to contribute greatly to the development of Japan. Whoever fears of unknown danger and disaster crossing the ocean, along with this new knowledge emerged, leading to the ending of this kind of diplomatic mission. All right. It must be the Buddha's will that we should meet again like this. Have we met? Come now, let us make haste. Oh, I wonder if he'll actually fight this time. Aha! So he just kind of stood around and asked for us to find some uh, some brushes last time. Anyway, important thing to note, since uh, I've decided in the spirit of the last game, the DLCs at the very, 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 not the DLC, yeah, the, the side missions at the DLC at the very, very, very end were just kind of ridiculous, and I would reach a point where I was like, I don't care. I finished the main story. I've gotten everything I'm going to get. I'm not going to get frustrated trying to beat something outside of the main story because i'm a i'm a crazy completionist for the most part but i'm willing to let things go if it gets too annoying you should know that the item that lets us quit a mission with quit any mission without losing amrita because normally once you start a mission if you decide you want to quit it because you can't beat it and you want to go back to the menu where you select missions from you have to actually use an item which you kill yourself and you lose all your amrita uh, that's the only way that you can quit. You lose everything that you've gained. But this is like, um, yeah, this lets you leave without penalty. Uh, I've got 64 of them. Collected over the course of the entire game, 64. Certainly, I'm not going to get through all of them. In um, So we are good to go. Um...
I probably should reassign some of my stuff because I have specific anti-boss setup going on here. There are goodies that I would normally bring along that I don't have equipped, so let's... Um, Poison Shuriken were being pretty worthless. Fire Shuriken were being pretty worthless. Quick change is always good. Do I really need four of them? I don't know. But there were things I'd normally carry with that I didn't, uh... Didn't bring along because I knew... Oh, this is unfortunate. Alright, what was I trying to say? Yeah, I had, um... Sloth Talisman I usually like. I do have a couple of Sloth Talismans equipped, actually. Not as many as I'd normally have, I guess. Let's see. Sloth Steel, Fire, Quick Change, Poison, Protection, Barrier... Um, I guess I could go ahead and get a... Power pill... I'm just surprised at how few poison shuriken I can have equipped if I want to have I mean it's the thing that, yeah I don't usually carry four of those uh... still a bit of an odd setup here Do I have anything, uh... Ah. So there's been a great disturbance in the force, and we're here to figure out what it is. Uh, I don't actually need... There's not going to be any Kadama, so I don't really need Kadama sensor, but... We've gotten pretty good... Um... This thing has been good to us. Let's not, let's not ditch it right now. suppose when we get back out to the map we can look and see if there's any missions with Kadama, but actually no, I'm pretty sure it's not possible. Oh, also I realized I didn't have, um, like the Kadama blessing I was using in that last mission was all the stuff about um, experience, which is a mistake. You are really getting on my nerves. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that was stupid. I beaten to death by a spider. I kind of died all in one, all at one big blast of failure there. Actually, um, oh great, and I don't get my uh, spirit back. Well, let's check something here. Um. Yeah, we've got all the Kadamas in the region, so there's actually... I guess I will consider um, ditching the piece of gear that we're using because it has Kadama sensor. Because it's got uh, auto grave recovery, burn accumulation is raised, which is nice, damage taken over time, poison reduced, not that important. Um, enemy sensor might be nice. This has enemy sensor, but nothing else that I'm interested in. Treasure sensor. Set bonus requirements reduced. It's an interesting one, but I'm kind of not feeling going in there and figuring out how to get much out of that. Uh, this gives me kunai damage, which is always nice for my build, but... I'm really kind of looking for something with enemy sensor and auto grave recovery. Ninja damage. This is pretty good. Alright. I didn't, find, I didn't do a very good job of hitting his weak point, did I? Not saying you're wrong, buddy. Just you're a little condescending there. I don't appreciate it. Now, if you can finish off that spider, I might I'll do it. I am the only one who remains. Well, then there's me, of course. What you can put an end to our plight. Sure thing, buddy. To be honest with you guys, a couple of quick short missions with a little bit of story. Um, that would be a lovely way to end to Neo 2, because like I said, I don't int I intend for this to be my last sit down with the game. And it would be lovely to just have a few reasonably uh, short, not like pathetically easy, but still kind of just chill missions to wrap this thing up. I'd love that. with just a little the little bit of story of like our temple's been taken over can you help me i'm a monk by the way you've met me before like that's that's cool i'm into that Man, well, so many enemies had to get alerted immediately yeah i guess i could say that well, he'll, he'll heal up. If I get him out of there, which can happen by just... Oh, never mind. They're chasing... The enemies are chasing me. I thought he would, uh... 
warp out and be where I came to. I keep hoping this guy might be the big bad. Because you don't see the giant spiders that often, but... That went really poorly. And he's not the big bad, uh, clearly, because we didn't get the... This place is no longer Yokai Zone thing. Sorry you had to die a couple of times there, guy, but I have to, and it's okay. As long as you have uh, Ninja Scrolls come back to life, it's fine. He's fighting with a split staff, which is a weapon that uh, we, uh, you and I, General Viewer, we're team. No, um, sorry, I just got a sudden, a sudden uh, itch on my uh, ear I had to scratch. Um, yeah, we were using the split staff for a long time. Oh, and good. He was uh, really not paying very close attention to what was going on around him, this uh, particular yokai. And he is not. Because even though I didn't use the most powerful attack I could have... Oh, and he's the one who was making it yokai zone. That's surprising. I didn't think those guys were considered high-end enemies at this point, but... What was I saying earlier? It's okay if it's not super challenging. If they give me a little story and a little casual um, extra content to fill my fill me with pleasant memories of how much fun Neo Two was before I say goodbye. Yeah. Oh, this is that map of the giant Buddha statue. Okay. Yeah, so we've been here before. This is uh, recycled from a prior DLC. I don't think this was a main story map. I think this was a DLC story map. But it was a story map. Was it? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe this was never a story map. Oh, whatever. Hey, I got, I got my own waste card, guys! Because <laughs> the Suzuka set is... Presumably looks like what we are wearing thanks to the transform power. Um, Night Storm, Kusarigama. Divine Branch, which I think is the thing that allows me to escape without using... Uh, You guys are apparently not part of the darkness zone because you start with full key and you should have had your key depleted. For some reason, they just sit around with no key. Now, as soon as you start fighting them, they do the move that replenishes their key. But they have to actually do that. They don't just... They don't get to do that until you are attacking them. Dreaming Dragon Greaves. You know, I didn't really bother to see what the set does, but I did put a few of these. Yokai ability. That would make sense. You're the giant demon man. This is the set dropped by the final boss of this DLC. Uh, and it gives you melee damage, Amrita bonus, inflict corrupted, whatever. Yokai ability damage, yokai. Yeah, I mean, it would be like, oh yeah, if you use, if you like the demon abilities in Yokai Shift. The big yokai boss monster whose whole deal is he hates humans. That would be a, a thing his set would give you. It would make sense. This may be the end uh, zone right here. I'm like, we just got a touchdown. It's the end zone. I find these guys really difficult to fight. Oh no, you don't get back on your feet, you. 
Oh, we're making a lady uh, pained noises now. Damn. Oh, screwed that up at the last possible second there. I, uh... One, eva one successful evasion uh, and then attacking him would have finished him off with a flurry. But instead I tried to heal on the spot and didn't go well. Well, we can turn in a bunch of soul cores for whatever that's worth at this point, this late stage. I guess I should go, like, is this the only direction to go in? Because it looks like we're getting close to the end of the level. And I didn't really check to see. That was just the first direction I decided to poke around in. Like, there's nothing over here. Like, this is... Does appear to be just kind of an end... Yeah, okay. So, it, it we're going the only way you could go. Because uh, that might not have been the end of the level, but it also really could have been the end of a fairly short level. This is recycling a map. Okay. Handled that properly. I wasn't patient enough to try to deal with them one at a time. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot more stuff to do in this direction, but then I didn't see how one would go about getting there. So maybe um, I was incorrect to think that the level's almost over. Maybe there's like a checkpoint out here where you got to beat a certain amount of enemies before you continue. Because they're blocking off uh, progress with little demonic gates of a beat a certain amount of enemies and you will get to proceed nature. Purity has been uh, pretty consistently my favorite thing to use on a Wapit. I'm trying to remember if the original Neo had any uh, elements on weapons. I mean, I remember you could get set on fire and you could use poison, but I don't think your weapons just were imbued with stuff. I don't really remember. The mechanics are s different in a lot of little ways. But uh, overall, the game is so similar. It is the same game engine that uh, I sometimes forget what was and wasn't available in Neo. Our little um, monk friend around is really useful, cause it's jungle out. I think I picked up an elixir. I should have. Uh, I should have taken one first. Scampus fists. That's a weird one. Okay, so we got scampus fists. That's apparently a thing that enemy was carrying around. I guess that's a creature with paws. Um. Oh, damn you. Mistimed my evade. Hitting their horns to deplete their key rapidly is a big thing, too. I don't remember that being part of the last game. Overall, I mean, this has been a super long LP because it's a long game. And I've certainly had bosses like an Enro where I just wasn't doing it right. And it took way too many tries to figure it out. But overall, I'd say this is a much more chill game. Um, I prefer the gameplay in Neo 2 because it just, it, it just eases off enough. You don't have to use anything that gives you a chance of automatic spirit recovery. Um... 
there's other little goodies that, that can make things easier. You can elect to just be a purist and not do any of that stuff if you really prefer the difficulty of the original Neo. But, although you could kind of make fun of him, he didn't have a ton of personality and a ton of dialogue. But, I mean, whatever his faults, Anjin-san was not the boring-ass mute protagonist that this game gives us. I wish my friend would finish this guy off, because I'm hurting. <laughs> Thank you. I kept wanting to... Just like, no, just wait one more... To like and see this strike up your horse for fun, huh? Oh, I got more invisible off. I kept wanting to, um... Take an elixir and, like, force him. It was like, no, no, finish him off first, and then... He wasn't quite dying. But anyway, Neo won, like... I like Donjin. He's a bit of a minimalist protagonist. And it made sense he wasn't talking a lot because nobody nobody spoke English. So his little bit of dialogue he had was mostly just kind of him talking to himself. And I, I like the fact that he was Irish, but he wasn't like, you know, Callahan from Fallout 3. Like, I'm ridiculous, sing song Irish, man. It's like, he talked kind of like an actual Irish person might talk. Even though I don't believe the character he's based on was actually supposed to be Irish. Um, at any rate, we have, we can confirm now, this is where we're supposed to go. I have 776 Ochoco cups. Maybe it's time to start using some of this stuff here. Jacko stream. So he just did the earthquake vertical. Did Jacko stream? Jacko stream got stuck outside. Thanks for coming, Jacko stream. You've been super helpful. Apparently not. Come on, Jacko Stream. Get over here and help us. Do your job. He said he was going to repay the debt, but then... Oh, come on! I did a second evade roll! I even held off to make sure I had exactly enough key to do it. And it's just like, nah. <sighs> it's possible this is it, but... Jacko stream, you've been a real disappointment to me. <laughs> I, can't, I can't over it. I can't overstate just how terrible you've been, Jacko stream. Like literally not showing up for the fight. It's about the worst I suppose I could have feared. But... Shit. I hate when they do that. 
that shit. They uh, had damage waiting for me when I reappeared on the map. Well, not on the map, but you know what I mean. I must be strong. And try to hang on. Okay. Okay, well, I didn't see. I leave the rest of you as reliable as ever, I think. You th okay. Why is it so smoky? Oh, somebody must be barbecuing. A Nenra? Oh, come on. How could I not be done? Well, this isn't good, guys, because we used all of our best goodies already. And again, we're a lot more powerful than we were when we fought Anenra previously. A lot more ability to do shit like, um... Just spam him with attacks and deplete all of his key. I guess you weren't. I seem to be doing okay for now. Uh, I was trying to do a fancy counter. It may be wise to catch you. Yeah, I think I will catch my breath, actually. Flicks your time here. If that's it for the mission. That was perfect. Jacko stream is departed. That's perfect because it took me one video. It had a little bit of story. I got a little frustrated at one or two points, but basically won it all in one shot, and, and it had, had a little bit of story. That's kind of exactly what I was hoping for from these last few DLCs. Give me a little something that felt like it was... Uh, worth playing through but all in all have it be not like a nightmare of uh, impossibility and difficulty but maybe it's not over nope well jacko bite there is uh, gone there's no incense burning why is it so smoky the level isn't over that was like he was like a mid boss. I got gotcha. you. Well, that being the case, what's at a save point? I suppose there might be enough content left that I'm I am more than one sit down away from finishing the series. Because I kind of thought we were going to be one sit down away from finishing the series, but who knows? And we're almost ready to level up. I'm into it, guys. Come back next time for more of Neo Two. We're almost done. <laughs>